for joining us. I'm Malia Shahid. Nick Van Zant has the night off. Hundreds of migrants trying to rush a fence on the U.S.-Mexico border were met by heavy resistance from U.S. agents. News 4 Tucson's Danelle Conbear has the latest. It's new at 10. On Sunday, migrants attempting to enter the U.S. from Tijuana, Mexico, were met with tear gas after Border Patrol officials say migrants began to throw projectiles at agents in San Diego. U.S. border officials shut down the Mexican border at San Ysidro, California in both directions for several hours on Sunday. That port of entry is known as the busiest in the world. President Trump also weighing in over the weekend, threatening to close the southern borders and tweeting in part, migrants at the southern border will not be allowed into the United States until their claims are individually approved in court. Tucson immigration attorney Mo Goldman weighs in on the president's comments. From a legal perspective, the law requires an individual to request asylum within the United States. Legally speaking, I don't see how a person can request asylum outside the U.S. According to a Washington Post article, U.S. and Mexico officials could have reached a new deal that would keep migrants seeking asylum in Mexico until the U.S. completes their claim. But according to NBC News, Mexico's government denies any such agreement. Currently, the U.S. Department of State has a travel advisory for Mexico. That's something Goldman says could be concerning for asylum seekers. If certain parts of Mexico, including the region along the border, are not considered safe for U.S. citizens, why would it be safe for migrants that are coming with nothing? Here in Arizona, soldiers stationed at Sunglow City at the davis Monthan Air Force Base, along with those in California, have already started to rehearse non-lethal riot control tactics. These pictures were retweeted by U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Danelle Confair, News 4 Tucson.